hopefully there won't be any more interruptions. Uh, I'll be uh, trying to trying to charge my phone here and trying to record a, some movies for, my, movies for myself in this, in this car. But uh, it's, I uh, this time actually I I, um, I put the uh, copper uh, sh uh, valve back in there and I hooked up the yellow line for the um, boost control solenoid. So. We're going to try it one more time and then we're going to study the internet and see if it comes up. All right, there you go.
All right, that was me. I let my foot off the gas. I figured if it's idling this much, I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect this um, this strange companion here. This um, this is supposed to be a one-way check valve for the evap gas, and um, this little hoser here. And now that I have both hoses, I'm gonna see uh, how it how it uh, how it performs. And the uh, engine here is it's. Kind of toast. I would say at best toasty, not exactly what we call warm. Alright, we'll give it one more go. The only thing I really didn't connect was actually was the uh, hose for the uh, turbo gauge, which I don't really need right now because I don't really accelerate anymore. I'm surprised it's standing on the jack stands though. Alright, here we go. Christmas fucking miracle. Excuse my language, but I uh, started it up for the first time. Didn't know anything. Didn't step on the gas. Didn't, didn't see I'm walking around over here. And uh, what can I say? I mean, these things are absolutely fucking picky. They they drive me nuts. I'm not, a, I'm not a tech, I haven't even gone to UTI yet, but uh, I'll tell you one thing, these things are a pain in the ass to work on. Um, seriously, I mean, come, come look at what I did. Short of surging, and me being a little bit picky on, on, on coolant fluid right now, it seems to run pretty good. I'm gonna bolt your loose for the <laughs> I'm about to lose the damn bolt here for the damn uh power steering fluid. Well, we better take care of that real quick. Um but uh I, uh, I really amaze myself sometimes. Uh, I, I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad I was recording this. Uh, seriously, all I did was I hooked up this little guy right here, little valve over here, which really isn't sucking much or anything. Hooked it up to right here. Both of these ports right here. I'll tell you where these go. One of these actually goes to the um, to the evap system, and the yellow line there on top actually goes back over here to the um, to the uh, uh, to the to the uh, uh, control solenoid. And take this out. So right now you can see it's vibrating like pillow stuff. And that last line, that was supposed to control the, um, this line over here, that's supposed to control the, um, the turbo, uh, the turbo gauge. Check this out. There's a port for it. Uh, 
right on here. This tree is new and stuff. This cat's watch. Look over here of its hole. Hear that? Look at the engine. Sadly, the engine is purring like a kitten. Well, okay, maybe like a really nervous kitten. But um, it seems normal. It's Oh, my tripod fell over. I mean, look at this. All right? And okay, now the edge is getting a little warm. I don't have to worry about the, I, was, I got my torque wrench out of the pawn shop to go and torque down these exhaust manifold bolts. I don't see any smoke back here. Working back in here is a pain in the ass. All these, there's a little line again. It's for the uh, boost control solenoid. And the boost control solenoid is This guy right there in the, this guy right there, and right there in the front right there. You can see where that line goes right there. This right here is actually is the uh, waste, uh, wastegate actuator. And that knob goes out there. But, um, so, let's see. That tells you that these parts here are extremely reliable. I mean, uh, a little bit of maintenance, and these cars are fine. Amazing it seems in the junk. Let's, see, let's give it a little bit of gas, see what it does. Take it up slowly. Not too much because they don't have uh, fluid in the, uh, well, some, but not much in the uh, coolant reservoir. To idle she goes. This is why they're in stick out in the rain and stuff. Anyway, uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, oh, and show my uh, neighbor over here. Uh, uh, Jason, what kind of uh, monster I've created. <laughs> and um, so I wish I was putting this on uh, iPad version so um, my friend Adam could see it. But uh, anyway, uh, that's what I know. All right, shutting her down. <laughs> Later. Uh, gauges inside. Uh, let's see. Uh, turn off the night shot later. Uh, pretty much the uh, the anticipated uh, SRS light, which is which is right here. Uh, I got the um, coolant light, which is normal over here. Uh, for some reason, I have the tracks off, and then I have the check engine. Um, so uh, that's right now. <laughs> Ain't it great? Well, I'll tell you what. We do something, it stays fixed. <laughs>
may take us a little while, but dang it, that's the way we do it. All right, talk to you later. Bye.